Welcome to Lumon Fit Instruction videos. Today I will talk to you about muscle strength and agility assessment. As you see we have our jump tester and put it in here already. On a previous video we did postural assessment so we have all that data stored in the application. So let's proceed to muscle strength and agility assessment here. As you see a submenu unfolds. Let's go to part one. The very cool feature of this application is as you see, postural assessment is on top, and then we progress to muscle strength, so on and so forth. So whenever postural assessment is completed, application will take all the choices under consideration and provide us with suggestions and precautions towards the further assessments. So as you see on top, right under John Tester name, we have suggestion and precaution tab. If I click on this, it'll suggest all manual testing of possibly weak muscles based on postural assessment results. So instead of going through the whole assessment on muscle strength and agility, we can just pick of what we want to do. Let's go back. As you see from the top, the logic of the assessment is the same as in a postural assessment. We have certain things that we can pick in here, uh, like an upper body test, 1RM, chest press, we have a full description of how to do it. So let's say the weight of our guy is... After inputting the second number, a ratio will be calculated automatically. We can also add any notes to confirm if we done it in the same way that the procedure is or we introduced any adjustments in it. We can also alternate the date. In order to add more, we just click add more and we can put a reassessment in here. We can also very quickly delete lower body tests and all other tests and the results will be calculated automatically after you input initial numbers. As you see, we have more tests here we can proceed with like Davies test, push up test and curl up test. And then in part two, we start on our muscle strength manual testing. So we have all different muscles here that we can uh, test ourselves. And based on our suggestion and precaution, we already have pointed out which muscles should be tested to confirm further if there are any issues. So whenever we test a muscle, we can take a look at the procedure scroll the whole description and see the picture of how it's supposed to be performed. Every procedure is described and photographed here. After we test the muscle, we can say if it's a weak muscle, if it has any compensations, or if it's normal. We can go for left side or right side separately. Part 3, 4, 5, and six will can will have more and more muscles that you can test. And this is muscle strength and agility.